All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some more Monster Train. Uh, we have been absolutely killing it lately. We've been winning every single run, and we're going to jump back into it. Real quick, this is like the first video I've made since my update video went up, and the response on that has been amazing. You guys have been nicest comments ever, super supportive. Uh, it's just really great to hear from you guys again. So thank you for all the support on that video, uh, and hopefully on everything else. Uh, hope, hope you guys are having fun with the new content. So with that, let's get into this. Um, I have a plan for what I want to do today. And I think that is to play the Umbra, who is the new clan we unlocked a couple videos ago at this point now. These guys. So last time we played as the Stygian, our little fish guy here. Um, we did quite well. It was a very unique run, but we, we definitely uh, made it happen. So the Umbra. These guys are cool because they their kind of thing is they spawn a bunch of like little tiny... They're called morsels. They're kind of like the, uh, in Spirited Away, those little coal miner guys that work in the furnace or whatever. It's like that. That's very referential. And they consume those to buff themselves. And I think that's a really cool mechanic. I think they're really, really cool as a faction. So, um, let's take maybe, maybe the Hellhorned. I'm trying to think who we take as a support. We did these, these two last time. So yeah, let's, let's do something like this to mix it up. Um... By the way, I should point out, all of the uh, clans have secondary champions, which I have unlocked most of for these guys. We're not going to play that yet. You know, we will we'll get them all done. Don't you worry, we'll get them all done. Um, but for now, we're sticking with the base champions and the base factions to uh, just, you know, get everyone up to speed. So we're now on Covenant 20, uh, 27. Covenant rank 7. Let's go. It's going to get harder. Every run every run, uh, every run we win, it will get more and more challenging. Okay. Seraph the Diligent. The first spell card played each turn gets consumed. It's not that bad. You just have to play around it and be careful. Okay. So we start with Prismal Dust, which is consumed and it applies 1x damage shield. So however many energy we choose to spend on it will give us that many damage shields. Damage shield is just you're invincible for one hit. We got Ritual of Battle again, which is Rage. I don't love this card unupgraded and with no Rage synergies, right? We had that Rage Doesn't Decay video, I think. Um, and that was good, but yeah, I don't know about having two of these. And then Feast, uh, it'll make more sense we get, uh, when we get into it, but essentially, yeah, this will, instead of eating the morsels, these cute little fellas at the end of the turn, which is the normal way, it will be eaten the moment we play that. Okay, so let's come down this way. Friendly in its center with Armor 5. Or three magic power. <clears throat> Both of these are pretty meh. Armor five is just like, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. I just think that's not good. I I don't think either of these are good, but we'll take the magic power just in case we want to cast some offensive spells. All right, so our champion here, he's a big boy. Either <clears throat> we summon him and he gives us plus two capacity on this floor, which allows us to play a bunch of stuff. And he's a 25-20. Or he's huge. He's 4 capacity. And he has 40 attack and 25 health. Um, <clears throat> I kind of think we go with this one. I don't know. Having 2 capacity. Like, we just don't need that right away. <clears throat> My throat is all types of messed up. Sorry about that. Yeah, so let's just go with that. Uh, we always take the trial in the first one. And having trample is kind of nice, actually. That's going to get through this armor, hopefully. So Trample, essentially, if... So he's just 40... Well, this guy has more than 40 health. This guy had 30 health. 10 damage would then be applied to this guy behind him. Okay. So let's just set up on the bottom floor here. Let's just go with this. <coughs> um, We're not quite killing. We can apply damage shield. We don't have any morsels yet, which kind of sucks. If you look at our deck, Shade Splitter here. This is the starting card for the Umbra. They will it'll give us a morsel in our hand that we can use. We can't fit anyone else, and this is useless. So I think I, I just give damage shield just for the hell of it. Okay, there's our collector. <clears throat> Torches do do five damage now, which is kind of nice, I guess. Let's put you up here. You guys have armor, so the torch is kind of useless. Um, but I guess we can we can play it, I suppose. We'll put two of these guys up here. I, you know, I probably should have... Yeah, I wasn't thinking straight. We should have torched this guy. Luckily, we can still do that. Um, we can then play a Shade Splitter. So this 
The way it works, we put this guy down, either front or back. At the end of combat, he will be eaten by whoever is in the front on this floor. That's not a morsel, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so he's gonna, our, our champ's gonna eat this guy and get six health, which is excellent. And I would spawn it. You know what? I still will. Well, no. You're only taking five. There's no use doing that then. How are you? Oh, because you're being healed. Oh no! So this will kill you then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, nice. And I don't care about the healer getting through. That's fine. So you're just so strong. I mean, we can give you this, but yeah, the, the boss isn't getting through. Come on, dude. The boss is not getting through. Okay, a little bit of gold. Excellent, excellent. Okay, we don't need more of these. We already have two. Antumber Assault is pretty good. It does six, well, it does three damage, I guess, right? But it's upgraded because of uh, you. Um, and if you kill something, you get two uncommon or rare <clears throat> morsels. I do like that. Adding a capacity is kind of nice as well. It does let us get more on our champion floor. But I think morsel generation is really important for this faction, so I'm going to take that. AoE spells, kind of nice. We don't have anything like that. Um, we could get the molting imp. I don't really want to go too deep on the imps. Let's take a vent. It is already free. Mm, okay. So this is interesting. These guys are Umber units. They are not fighters, as you can tell. Their stats are pretty bad. But they're both very unique in that they work with morsels. So this guy, if you put a morsel down, it doubles it, which is good. This guy, every turn, generates a, two morsels, one, you know, each of these guys. Normally, I do prefer the Morsel Master. However, our capacity is one away, so it, we can only fit one morsel. This guy can generate morsels past the capacity, so I'm going to take you... Like I said, I usually prefer the other guy, but I think having um, this one will be pretty helpful. Now, mm, I'm trying to think. Okay. The only unit we could upgrade is you. However, you, again, you're not strong. You're not meant to be strong. You're meant to just do something. So I don't feel like upgrading you is very good. Now, there is a Hellhorn unit here. It's true. I actually think I go this way first. Usually I go to the that one. Okay, and this is huge. Crucible Collector. Every time he eats, he gets one stack of life steal. This 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 guy's amazing. I'm just going to spoil it right now. I've used him before. He's amazing. Now, I would have liked to upgrade him, but that's fine. Okay, remove consume. Like we we could, but I just I don't value that card that much. What I do value is consuming a torch. Let's take it. And then making something cheaper is also kind of nice. We could make a ritual of battle cheaper. We most definitely could. But I just, I still don't find Rage that good. We might cut at least one of these cards. I don't, I mean, we'll see how it fits into the build, I guess. But I, it doesn't fit right now, I'll tell you that much. So let's just make Antumbra Assault free. And then do we want to reroll or purge? Let's reroll. Holdover, it'd be cool to play something uh, every turn. But that's right. Let's give Vent more magic power so it's even better. And then we'll get something else cheaper. But we can't make it less than free. That makes sense. Um, eh. Let's make one of our Prismal Dusts cheaper. So now you can play it for zero and get one damage shield for free, essentially. Which is decent. Which is decent. And, of course, if we play it for anything else, we get a plus one on that. So that'll be helpful. Okay. Enemies on each floor. I kind of think we can do that. If we get a lucky event, turn one, we're kind of crazy. We did not... Okay, we have three energy. This is the non-upgraded one. Five, ten. Okay, you're sending out some damage, but it's not terrible. You guys are hasting. I kind of want to set... Well, so here's the other thing, all right? Having this guy just auto... No, no, we should stick to our guns with what we wanted to do. You have 25. You're going to take some damage, but you are going to be... Yeah, okay, let's do this. Put you here. Put you here. Uh, the Crucible Collector. It's just a lot of damage, man. It's a lot of damage coming out. Do we bother? I think we maybe wait on him. This is like level 2, bro. Let's just wait. What I will do, though, is kill one of these to save a little bit of damage. <laughs> oh, I realized with the haste. Oh, God. Thank God we got Vent. Holy. Okay, we play Vent for free. but So not yet. Not yet. Uh, we can put... What do we, we want to do? Let's... Uh... 
Let's torch our haste guy here. We'll get you out. Again, we're playing vent for free. So yeah, see now there's these two morsels. Well, this guy's not going to die. Or not going to get eaten right now because he's getting mollywopped by these guys. Um, so we'll cast one of these. Our train steward can eat it. We'll then cast vent for free, wiping this entire floor. Excellent. Our champ is eating. He's having a delicious meal. So yeah, I could play this um, and just have him feast right now. Kind of a meh move. What we'll do is this, though. This gives us some morsels. He no, he no longer dies. Okay. Um, we will make a super train steward. So we'll have you eat those. We'll put you... Well, I guess we'll... I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of an irrelevant situation. Um, we'll put that. Whatever. Okay. Our champion is the main guy here, right? Now, unfortunately, this guy is haste and I can't kill him. <laughs> so our super train steward is going to die, but that's okay. So, none of this matters at all to me. I'm just going to give you damage shield and end the turn. My poor train stewards are going to get frozen to death, and then you're going to die. Yep, no problem. Okay. So, that went pretty well. Uh, nobody really got th through, I don't think. So, that's that's fine. Nice. Okay, Immortal Trade. Apply Life Steal 4 and Ember Drain 2. I don't really respect this card. The idea, Life Steal is insanely good. Ember Drain is terrible. So, by putting Ember Drain 2 on a unit, you're losing 2 energy for yourself. Um, but you could put this on, I don't know, like a, a morsel so they get eaten and the Ember Drain goes away. But then, like, why would you want Lifesteal on a morsel? I just don't understand this card. Maybe I'm missing something. Let me know if I am. Packed Morsels is also amazing. Or <laughs> also uh, is not the right word. Is actually amazing. So we're going to take it. It's a consumed card, but you get three morsels, which is always nice. And we need to get uh, this guy cooking. We didn't even play him last time, but Okay. I would dupe my vent. I would not buy a new one. Or take a new one, rather. So I, I don't think we need any of these. We have some targeted damage with uh, Hintumber Assault. So we get a Hellhorn unit down here. We do want to get to that Merchant of Steel. Um, do I want to... I don't really want that many more units. I'm just going to keep it a 100% with you. We don't need the health, though. Like, what would I dupe? What would I dupe? Having a second one of these isn't bad, but it's not upgraded, so it's just kind of like a low-value play. Vent is, like, okay, but not really that good to dupe, I would say. What about uh, our Antumbra Assault? It's all, it's, it's all okay. Let's go this way. We'll check the unit. I probably won't take it. I don't need another Morsel Maker, I don't think. This guy is also pretty good. He's like the other Gorger, except he has Damage Shield instead of Lifesteal. I think he's a little worse. I think still think he's really good, though. Let's skip it. I don't want to overload ourselves. We're also going to have a potential Hellhorn unit. Which would be nice to put in the back if we get like that multi-strike demon. Anyways, what do we got? Grant four stacks of armor. We don't have any armor right now. Summon a morsel miner on each floor. Okay. So morsel miners, you can see what they are right there on the right. They're the best morsel. However, by summoning one, I can fit my champion and I can't fit anyone else until that morsel has been consumed. Which could be a problem. Now, I think we're about to fight Daedalus. Or whoever it is. Which means we will be able to get more capacity. And I think we might. So let's... I think this is I think this is a good move. I think it's a good move. Let's take it. Alright, what do we got here? We will lose Pyre Health over and over until we get something. Holy burst. This is insanely good. Wow. Okay. That is one of the best relics in the game. I mean, obviously, only if you're playing the Umbra. All like so we're gonna have to have double life steal from our guy. Oh my god, we're going crazy here. Nice, nice. So these explode twice. We do have to be careful about that. This guy's gonna get obliterated. So this is actually perfect for me because I didn't draw the uh, this guy, so I don't have to fit him. So what I'm gonna do is I think I want you on the bottom floor. To do your thing. And then I want you... I was going to put you up here, but having this blow up and do 20 damage and kill me is not really what I want to do. I'm going to put you on the middle floor. I want you to kind of just collect and bu uh, buff yourself a lot. Also, we can kill them all for free. So let's do this then. We don't have any space down here for any more morsels. But we will put this guy here. Every time he eats, again, he gets lifesteal, which is insane. We can't play virtual battle, so we may as well do that. Now we're coming out on top. Okay, so you're dying. That sucks. Uh, I think if we kill this, you should be fine. 5, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, you'll be all right. So let's put you here. We will then torch this bomb. 
Nice, much better. We're still taking a bit of damage. The train stewards are just actual garbage, so we'll just put damage shield uh, to save some hits. And now we're going to start gorging like crazy. This thing's coming out. Um, but we are... The thing with lifesteal, it's insane. The amount of damage you do is how much you recover. So he's like, he's recovered his whole health when he hits this boss right here. So it doesn't really matter that you're taking damage. But this is good. This is good. Okay. You do six damage and you're free. Excellent. Um, do I bother? No, no. So I, I'm not going to pop this because it is a consume card. And we can still get three morsels to fit back here. Uh, there are potentially better ones, although damage shield does counteract lifesteal a bit. Because if you don't get hit and take damage, you use your life steal when you're still at full health, right? All right, get this out of my deck. But it is what it is. It's still good. Okay. Again, I don't care about the train steward. How are you doing? You're not doing amazing. Um, I mean, we do... I think we kill the haste. No, we don't. We don't care about the haste because you're all going to die. What we care about is the damage. So we'll kill one of you to save a, a hit. We'll then get both of these guys, keep feeding you. You have 10 lifesteal because you're getting double gorges. Oh my god, we're insane. Don't need to bother consuming now. That's not a problem. Okay, you're now dying, so we probably go damage shield, right? We have 5 energy. What the hell? How did that happen? Oh, because we were eating uh, energy morsels. Excellent. You're now actually gaining health, which is amazing. Let's do... With trample, rage is actually like pretty good. Like, this is going to... If you look at the boss's health rate or damage right now, he's not taking 48 because we're going through. We will then cast one damage shield. Final wave. Here we are. 253. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So let's... Um, none of this is very helpful. So we'll just give you rage, I think. Gets us very, very close. Very, very close. Um, that's fine. We'll end it because our, our guy up here... I also... I, I should have fed him, but it's fine. We're, we're good. Easy peasy. Easy, easy peasy. All right. Apply, deal eight damage and apply rage seven. So the idea is you hit your own team. Uh, and that's why it's free because it does hurt you, but it does do seven damage or seven rage, which is not bad. Deal 30x damage to the front enemy unit. We can play this for free, not for very much damage, but we can play it for free. Um, but I mean, 30x is pretty crazy, right? 30 damage or 60. Yeah, that's insane. Applying Trample, I don't think I care about. I don't really think I care about any of these spells right now. None of them are helping me too much. Um, on Slay, you give everyone Rage. So uh, the only unit I'm considering taking is somebody to put behind the Crucible Collector. The problem is I do have to be careful because I want as much capacity as possible to feed the Collector uh, to be a tank. Um... Is this guy who I want? I Like, you don't need someone, but maybe it is safe to take him. Nah, you know what? Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, we take capacity. Although I would like energy, just having more morsels, because we have more morsel generation than we really can use. Give me the multi-strike one. No. So armor is bad for lifesteal. It's not, it's not so much bad. It's just pointless. Well, maybe it is bad, because you can't heal... Your health and use life steal effectively okay now that i have no other option i think i will take this guy let's go here quick you attack first i would love i think you to be strong and quick to kill things because this guy is not really killing things i want to give him a bunch of hp and he just is just going to stall in front and gorge himself to freaking his heart's content so let's give you quick. Let's see how that works. And then we'll make... I mean, I would I would love multi-strike on you, right? The problem is... I think getting you some damage, like 20 damage, is a little better, maybe. Multi-strike is the same. And we don't... Yeah, just go with this. Whatever, dude. All right, and then we'll put the health on you. And then we have a ton of money. Let's reroll. Endless. Yeah, I don't care about Endless. Uh, damage shield three it, again it's it's just counter so we're just gonna go f pure health uh, on this guy make him super duper tanky we're then going to purge these train stewards have got to go we have a lot of shitty spells as well do i purge again let's see there's removal here do pure health 
Hmm. We're not gonna... Yeah, let's purge one more. It's a little pricey, but we really do not need the train stewards. And... Yeah, we're not gonna get potential for that uh, removal for a while. So we can make a Monstrous 2, which makes them even larger. We could still do it, because we took capacity. Or, when we summon him, he gets two capacity on the floor. Uh, I, I, there's a third archetype. I don't remember exactly what it is. But it, we would want it more than this. So let's let's make him bigger. Let's make him bigger, man. Make him thick. Hell yeah. Okay, what do we got? The aggressive amulet. Non-boss enemy units are hit harder. I kind of don't want to do that. We're not that tanky. Okay. So we got blessed again. Damage shield. So, fought 12 damage. Yeah, I mean, you got a lot of health, bro. You got a lot of health. And then we will put you up here this time. It doesn't really matter, but I do want you to be as far up as possible. And then we're not going to play the train steward, so just give him damage shield. Okay. Um. So now the idea is, let's see, we have three energy. You come here. You come here. He's so big, dude. <laughs> we missed the gold. But there was literally no way to get that gold unless we... Yeah, I, maybe we could have vastly altered our strategy, but I think that's a bad idea. See, this is perfect. You're coming out. You're quick. You're hitting this guy. You also start with rage. I forgot about that. Okay. Let's see. Nobody has encants. You're... I like this because it's self-sufficient. I don't have to play morsels here. I can just focus up here. So you start popping. You're both dying. I don't really care. I would probably like to kill one of you guys. I think. Let's see. This is a five damage. We'll kill one. I'm going to leave one so that he gets another uh, slay trigger. And then I will just do damage on one of these guys. And I think that's probably good. I think that's probably good. Okay. All y'all are dying. That's crazy. You're dying, of course, to quick. And Timber Assault does six damage, so we can, we can make this pop. Nice. We got pretty good ones. We got attack... And attack and health. Again, we're still holding on to this. It'll, we'll let it come around again. You guys are all dying. I don't have any, like, on-kill effects here. So I think I'd probably just play vent. Like, there's no reason to take all that damage. You you are not dying to quick. Which, which is okay. It's not that big a deal. Um, so we're just going to pop more souls. Nice. And then... um Hmm... There's nowhere else for any morsel, so I guess we just damage shield probably you, right? Alright. Excellent. Here's the boss. Not a ton of damage. But that's okay. I mean, we're gonna AoE vent for free. Methinks. So here's what we do. We play this for rage. We then packed morsel up here. Wait, this is the best one, and then lifesteal one... Yeah, we'll give him this. Then we play this to get the back guys dead from 273. You're dead. You're dead, dude. Never underestimate taking out the back units. That is huge. Okay. Excellent. Apply damage shield one to all friendly units. Add three. I mean, it's an amazing card. There's no catch. It's just it's expensive as hell. Um, we don't need to make more morsels. We're passing up morsel generation cards in our deck, which is a decent problem to have because it means... You know, you're, you're good. I would kind of like capacity. I want to make it cheaper. But being able to put more stuff on other floors could probably be nice. This is also an amazing card. Give damage shield. Actually, this might be better. Because now that I'm thinking about it, you have to... So, we're over capacity by two every turn on the champion's floor. Because we're generating two morsels. So, adding a capacity wouldn't do anything. Adding two capacity wouldn't do anything. Because they'd just be max now. Adding three... That's a lot of cards. You have to play this a lot of times for it to be really relevant. Yes, we could put it up by the uh, Lifesteal guy. But he doesn't get overpacked that much either. I'm taking the damage shield. I do want to upgrade it. But Rage and Armor... We don't have any Imps. We don't need any of this. Any of this garbage. Okay. Upgrading our units further. You are upgraded. You are upgraded. You are not, but I don't care about you. So I don't see a lot of value here. The money in the artifact is nice. Duping a card. Um, 
I would like to remove things, man. So maybe we do just go here for the removal. What would we dupe? And Tumber Assault is okay. It like it's it's decent, it's for sure decent. I would dupe you if you weren't two costs. I'd rather upgrade you first. This is I mean it's a consume card, so it's always good, I guess, but we just haven't really played it that much. Because we don't have too much problems. Um, maybe another vent. Eh. Alright, let's go this way. Remove our last train stewards. They're just they're they're so irrelevant to everything. Get the health. Duplicate a card. Hmm. It's tough, man. I think we duplicate the vent. It's a free card. Duplicating a free card is always nice, right? And it's just more likely to show up now. Restore all health. This is usually so bad. I never take that one. Almost never, at least. It's so risky. All right, you come out here. You're only taking two damage because you're a trample god. Love that for me. Um, you can go up here and actually eat this morsel yourself to get a little stronger because it is a dang good one. And then don't bother with this. You know what? Give him another morsel, bro. Here we go. Give, give him lifesteal. <clears throat> okay. You're getting the gold. You come up here now. Um, this is a good packed morsel usage because we actually do have a little bit of space. Um, sure. Uh, I can't fit the morsel, so we'll just put you here, I guess. We'll get this guy to, to tank for this guy. <laughs> I mean, I'm just kidding. It doesn't matter. Is it worth doing this? It will buff. It's the same damage, though. Six, seven, yeah, yeah. We're taking 14. This will take 14 from one source. Uh, but also, like, why bother? I don't know. It doesn't really matter, I guess. It does not really matter mathematically. Okay. So we're going. You're only losing two health. This is good. You're cooking up here. We do want to keep making morsels. Let's get this going. Get you. Um, the torch. Eh? The feast. Eh? We just go damage shield. Keep you uh, ship shape. All right. So this is good. Let's say we have three energy. Yeah. Damage shield this. We have a vent for free. We pop these boys up here. Excellent. Um, there's nowhere else for morsels. And the torch is meaningless when we can do this. Okay. I think we I think we're coming out even on health, but it's 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 fine. Okay. This does nothing unless you can slay your own morsel, actually. And to be honest. That's a really good idea, because these guys are literally doing nothing. And they're not going to get eaten by anyone, because I have no more train stewards. So, we'll do that. Uh, rage 10, damage 5. Nah, I mean, we could give the rage. I think I'd rather just give the damage shield, though. Alright, so if you can make it back... You are making it past here. Let's give a little more damage shield. I really want to kill this guy in the back, but I, I don't think I can. So, this guy's going to go down. It's mostly... Well, it's not mostly because you you do do 5x damage, which is pretty insane. Um, let's keep feeding, though. And what I will do is I will feast this time because I can pop one more of these to get another one. All right. Our poor, poor guy. Uh, we'll play the vent for free, so we'll rage you up. Getting rage not decay, it would be pretty nice on this run. It's nice on every run where you have rage. Yeah, I mean, you're dead. I'm not worried at all. Like, this guy is unkillable with this many stacks of lifesteal. So genuine, he cannot die. It's impossible. All right, we got gem trove again. Another, again, I don't think there's a reason to take two, take another one when I could just upgrade it and maybe dupe it. Front and apply armor. Eh, I mean, eh. No. I mean, energy, no. We don't, we, we don't need that. We're at a 22-card deck. That's a nice lean deck number. We have some money. We could go trinkets. We do have some spells I'd like to remove, like the torches. But I think I would really, really like to upgrade my spells here. So let's go in here. We wait to cast this. Okay, we don't cast it right away. I mean, pack morsels, you know, morsel in a jar, pocket sand type shit. You just throw it down when you need it. That could be good. That's the only thing I see here that could be maybe the rage. Magic power. We could make a vent even better. We can make you even better. Let's make you even better. And then make something cheaper. Yeah, yeah, make Grovel cheaper. Really, we just want Grovel to be, like, hella, hella cheap. I don't know if I even bother. I don't think Permafrost uh, Pack Morsels is that good. In our current situation, that is. Every turn we play you... I mean, that's that's pretty crazy, right? I think this is crazy. Damage Shield 1 
every turn is going to keep our tank so tanky. And then we get two morsels every turn. Like, I think we... I think we... Yeah. Do that. Make a spell consume. Make a spell cheaper. I mean, we're cashing out, baby. Make a spell cheaper. We will make... We'll make our other Prismal Dust cheaper. Also free. And then didn't we... Oh, no. We don't have... We can go here. But I don't... Eh, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what we got in this, this Crystal Cavern. Okay, consume and apply fragile and multi strikes. Fragile is if they, as you can see, if they lose any health at all, they die immediately. It does give a multi strike. It also costs five energy, which is just crazy. It feels a little too nerfed to me. I think at one point in this game's life, it was a little more like easy to play or something. I don't know. Quick, we don't really need. We don't. We don't need any of this. This is fine. This is fine. I appreciate the offer though. Thank you, guy. Um, so we're we're good. We could purge. Let, let's save our money. That is a lot of money at this point. Okay. So we got Fell. They have multi-strike. And you give them rage. So they go from zero twos to whatever. Six twos, yeah. Okay. Do we make... No, we, we stick with what we got. What's coming out here? Not that much damage. Oh, but here's our problem, right? This guy is now here. Shoot. It finally happened. We can't play our Morsel Maker. But you know what? I think that's okay. What we're going to do is put you down anyways. It would be cool if we had a uh, Feast or whatever. That's fine. You're just going to hang out. We're going to get you up here. Similar story. You eat this guy. It's probably not worth doing that. Let's just give you a bunch of damage shield. Okay. Um, now you <clears throat> excuse me. Now you can come out. We don't have any morsels for you, which sucks. This guy's gonna die, which is excellent. Um, the vent for free is a good idea. Let's kill. I mean, we'll probably kill you. You're dying. Yeah, you have no life steal yet, but you're not taking any damage anyway, so that's fine. We'll give you this, and we will cast this to kill you. You're almost dying. All right, I need my morsels now. Where are they at? Here we go. Excellent. You're not quite dying. I don't know. We might have to let that guy get through, right? So we go damage shield here. We get two morsels. We get, start getting your life steal up. We then can do this for free. You have one health. That's crazy. Well, you're going to get killed by this guy and his slay trigger. That's spectacular news. Yeah, we just got to let you go, man. You're going to take 50, which is going to put you at, what, uh, 35 health? So you will live two attacks. So I should do this. So that now you will be killed quickly by our pyre. Yeah, you have one health. You're good. Uh, we probably just play vent. So we'll get this guy a little bit of juice. Oh, he's dying because you have sweep. You bastard. Well, it is what it is. It's just a morsel. Yep, that guy died. Okay. Again, damage shield me up. I don't want you taking any damage until the boss comes. This is working great. It would be nice if we got our, uh, whatever he's called. This guy, the Morsel Maker, down, but eh, it is what it is. Um, let's do you and you, and then Shade Splitter is pretty mid, but it will give us something. They don't have Sweep this time. You're just a statue, so who cares? We could feast you. Probably not necessary. Let's, uh, let's do this. Now you're dying and you're taking a bit of damage. All right, couple more waves. You got a, a decent amount of life steal. Keep this going. Can we do 16 damage to kill something? Maybe a morsel. We only okay, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, mm, you don't need the life steal, so let's go here. Let's kill our own morsel. He was dying to sweep anyways. Um, thanks to this idiot, he's doing four damage. You guys all have one health, okay? Let's give you more life steal, give you some health, and I mean again I can't unfortunately play this. I will play him, but he's just gonna die to sweep. Okay, okay. Um, you're not quite dying. Thirteen damage. That is almost enough. Well, now we're gonna put you out. Um, I guess. 
Okay, hold up, hold up. I, I, I got a plan here, right? Watch this. That is not what I wanted to happen. Shoot. I was hoping one of these would give some attack so I could feast it. Although, hold up, wait, maybe... You just gain lifesteal. Yeah, that's not... Damn it, I got kind of unlucky. Whatever. Um... Well, I guess we'll do this, and just take the hit on the pyre. It is what it is. I didn't see a way out of that. That's all right. That was a lot of damage. I'm not going to lie. 18 damage is pretty crazy. Okay, so we keep popping you. Get our morsels. You're not dying again. Our damage isn't too high. I'm not going to lie. A lot of things are getting through, which is kind of uh, concerning me. You guys are trash. You're getting through again. You, luckily, you are not raged, so you're not really that powerful. There's, there's no reason to play any of these other cards, so... Again, we're just going to have to let this guy go up there and beat our pyre up. Alright, final wave. Not a lot of damage, I'm aware. That didn't improve anything because you have multi-strike. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> well. We can feast. Didn't change anything. Okay, it is what it is. I'm still not concerned on, like, this battle. This guy, again, is, is absolutely unstoppable. It's crazy. You're gonna die to that. It just do damage, whatever. Yeah, I'm not worried about losing on this one, but I'm not I'm not gonna lie. We, a lot of enemies did get up, which is not ideal. We're gonna give you damage shield this time. We just, we haven't even used our pack morsel, bro. I, this guy might, I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking too much about it. Let's, uh, let's just hit you and hit you again. All right. You're dead. This is what I said. Perfect. Um, let's not mess with it. If you see the red X on the boss, don't mess with it. Just end it. You're winning. No worries. Like, look at this. This guy doesn't even... He's not even dead. It's crazy. Okay. Applying Rage and Armor. 8 damage. 30 X. It's a pretty big spell. I'm feeling okay. All right. Do we want more capacity now or energy? I think, I think we just keep going capacity. Especially for the top floor, we can fit more morsels in. Alright, units. You're, like, again, we could upgrade you, which is not, not worth it. And if we do that, we could remove some spells. Like, what would we remove? We'd remove this, uh, a shade splitter and the bad torch, probably. Our spells, though, what would we upgrade? You're, you're good. Um... Can make these cheaper. I don't know, actually. I don't think our spells are that worth upgrading. So let's let's go this way. The pyre health is actually not unwelcome. Let's remove, like I said, a shade splitter and then our shitty torch here. And then we will check this. multi straight You know what? It's crazy. But giving this guy damage in the back is like hey, it's something. That that's not terrible, right? Um, and then we literally have no more units, so that's fine. We're not going to reroll, obviously. Let's check our champ out. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So we... Oh, it's just so big. But 170, 100 is insane. And I think we're still cooking with what we got with the, uh, the Morsel Maker. This is the other one, Glutton, where he gets Lifesteal 2 by default. And every time he eats, he gets stats. I like this one a lot, I'm not going to lie. But I think at this point, we commit. We commit to the bit. We just make him, him big. We just make him big. Okay. Spikes five? No, 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 no. No, no, no. We have a lot of money. And I mean, more is always nice. But okay, we got a good draw here. So you're giving multi-strike? Can't do anything about that. 20 damage? Well, 21 damage? I mean, look, bro. You're, you're thick. He's just... I can't believe it. Okay get you up here and then just cast the damage shield now you're taking nothing and gaining the six health from our morsel friend um okay you come up here we have to get you out we have to get you out we got grovel early which is nice um we probably want to kill the multi-strike guy i would also like to get the gold but i think it's more important to preserve the run than get gold that all of a sudden halves the damage obviously because of multi-strike being gone um, we start feeding you. I know this is damage shield. Let's get you a little bit of juice as well. And then, I mean, like, feast is just not necessary in this situation. Alright, 
We got this guy. Nice. You come out. Everyone's dying. You are taking a lot of damage. Taking a little less now. We definitely... We pop a vent for free. So now we just start cooking up here. Um, ooh, maybe actually we vent here. You're all dying now. So I think we do do the vent here. Man, yeah. You're, they're getting through. I'm not going to lie. The problem is... This guy is really good for bosses. Like, he's literally OP against bosses. But he's not that great against regular enemies. Which is why I have you. But you're also just not that great either. So we don't need morsels. We may as well keep putting damage shield here. To keep him alive as long as possible. Okay. This is good. So yeah, we took some hits. Alright, start here. I guess it's down to 16. Excellent. Now we get damage, shield, um, and we have a lot of these. I realized, by the way, I would like to put lifesteal on this floor. This is kind of the disadvantage of this guy, which I did know going in. But he generates these two, which are kind of shitty morsels. So it's better on something that just gets, like, uh, the other option for this guy was gorge, right, where he gets stats. It doesn't matter what you eat because you're getting the stats yourself from gorging. So on a guy like that, this guy, uh, this morsel maker is better. Um... So admittedly, it's not the best matchup, which I think is kind of hurting us, but it is what it is. It's okay. Um, we probably torch this guy anyways, right? And then we don't need to play these Shade Splitters. Let's get the Life Steal. This. Um, we'll, we'll, eh, eh. Whatever. I kind of want him out of my deck. Just because I'm spawning more. Okay. Shield you up. Wow, we got a good one. Nice. And then... Like, we may as well, I think, because we can give more health here. Like, I, I guess what I was saying earlier, this guy would probably be better up here, because you just get Gorge every turn, and giving the life steal is more important than whatever stats you're gaining from the morsels themselves. So we could we could look into that. Maybe we'll pivot at some point. I don't know. Well, all the rest of this is not very helpful. All right, multi-strike. We are we're doing a good chunk, I'm not going to lie. Vent for free here is pretty helpful. Start here. Get this guy fed up. Uh, we may as well play you. Um, just seeing which is better. Maybe we'll just stick with that, and then we play you. Now you're dead. Yeah, getting rid of that bat guy, it was huge. So, as you can see, we're still doing good. Like, I mean, the stats on our champion are just absolutely absurd. Like, it's just madness. If only we could give him multi-strike. Oh, this is such a sad art. Uh, cannibalize. So we can sacrifice one of our morsels and get a bunch more. It's a good card, but we don't need more morsels. We're, we're generating more than we need, for sure. We don't need... Yeah, we don't need any of these. We don't have any imps. This could be good with permafrost, right? Because our guy is getting some rage on the top floor. But he's not getting that much. So I don't think it's really a crux of our build that we need to worry about. So here we are, final boss. Okay. Upgrading units is literally pointless. I would maybe consider duping a card. So maybe not the whole... Well, actually, this would be kind of crazy to dupe. I think we have to go this way to get the health in case we need it. Get the gold so that we can maybe upgrade or get a... Okay, free lifesteal. Ooh, 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 ooh. Attack, also kind of good. Rage 3, nah, eh, kind of meh. I think I want the Refined Void. Lifesteal 2 is just nice to have as we're getting set up, especially like our champ. Like, he gets beat up a little bit at the start. If we have Lifesteal, we can get back to max pretty quickly. It's not amazing, but 5 attack is also not like amazing. Let's just check over here, see what we got. So this would have been good on the Rage card that we declined, but we also, yeah, like I said, we eh, it's just a meh for what we need. Okay. All right, now we do have to be careful. Because the first card we play against this boss is going to be... Con or a spell, that is, is going to be consumed. So we do need to be careful. I think... Let's make one of these cheaper. Because it's cheap. And then let's get... The lifesteal one. And then we're going to spend our last 20 on... <clears throat> well, are we? No, actually we're not. That's not very useful for us. Okay. Here we go, boys. Seraph the Diligent. The, remember, I'm saying this to myself, not to you. The first card we play gets consumed. Okay. Alright, we got a good draw. How much damage is coming out? A decent amount. Can we... 
Can we kill the guy at the back? No. But he will enter with lifesteal, so it does not matter. He will be gaining health from this. You come up here to start juicing up. Um, okay. We will consume a spell if we do do this. Or... But you know what? I want to do this. I want it to consume. We don't need to play that spell more. Getting this is good. Uh, this consumes naturally. I don't want to waste the damage shield yet. Because you're going to take damage and heal to max. If we put the damage shield... It's just a waste, because, like, we're not losing any health right now. Why would we change it? Okay. We have now obtained you, which is good. Everyone's dying. That's excellent. Stopping the bleeding like this is so useful. Like, nobody's getting through. Excellent. Now, we only have one energy left. It could be worth playing. It's probably worth playing the unit, right? Our first spell gets consumed. Do we care? I do want to get morsels, but consuming this with six waves remaining seems bad. I know we're going to take this. Is it worth... No, you still have lifesteal. Just let it ride. Let it ride. Take the one damage. Don't consume your spell. I want to have shittier spells to consume. Like the torches that are already consuming. So you're dying to quick, which is excellent. You're dying to nothing, but you will die to quick. You guys are all dying. Okay. Let's consume... Something. I feel like it's kind of crazy to give this guy rage 10, actually. But, but you consume automatically, so we may as well do this, right? 25 damage. What do, what do you do? Uh, yeah, we don't want that. We don't want that to happen. So let's do that. Then, are we not going to play the Shade Splitter? I think we're not. The good thing about having Quick, which I only just now realized, this guy doesn't waste his lifesteal. Normally, he'd waste it like he's at full health. It doesn't matter, right? Um... So, that's actually really good. I, I have not noticed that I did that in, uh, inadvertently. Okay, okay. Rage 10. Got a common or uncommon morsel. None of these consume anymore. It's not really... The event does not do much for me, so we're probably not going to play that, even though it is free, I know. Damage shield. Let's, let's give you rage. I feel like that's crazy, but I don't know. I kind of want to do it. All right. Next turn, next turn. He spawns another one. Okay. Now you are... Uh, using a lifesteal, but that's okay. And what's good is lifesteal just does heals you for this much d d uh, health. It doesn't matter how much health they have. They only have three health, but it's like, it's still chill. This is definitely a pack morsel. It consumes already, so who cares? Um, and we just, we go crazy up here. We need you to get more and more lifesteal. Nice, excellent. Uh, we play this to get out of our deck. And there's no more space for a morsel. We could trigger this. Which, you know what? I don't think there's a reason not to. We have the energy. So, like, we just should, right? Okay. So, we're going. We're going. You're getting a little beat up now. It's true. We finally got you. We cannot consume you immediately. So, what we do, we consume you because you do a lot of damage. We then damage shield to not consume it. We then play both of these to get them out of our deck. You're not taking too much damage. You have a lot of health. You will die on this floor, though, which is good. Not too quick or anything, but you will die. Okay, a lot of health on this floor. Don't consume that. I think we can... Let's see, we have three energy. Okay. Okay. You're taking a decent amount of damage. Consume this at this point. It's fine. It's fine. It's chill. Put you there. Just damage shield to you. Oh, oh, oh. Get you guys up here to feed our Gorger. Then, vent for free, I think. So we play this to save the Pyre. One damage shield. You know what? I think I think we do do it. We just got to minimize the damage. We do big damage here. So now you're definitely dying. I mean, I guess you were dying either way, but the back guys are now dead, which is helpful. We're good. No damage being taken because you're life stealing it all back. Well, let's go. Same here. Only seven damage. Not too bad. What do we consume? Um, again, I think there's only one way of remaining. Yeah, we consume you now. Who cares about the Shade Splitter? Come up here. Um, grovel on you. Now you're healing. That's amazing. We put this. We put this. Do we bother venting up here? Probably makes more sense to vent here to kill this guy in the back. So he doesn't give us garbage. And then let's, uh, let's do the final wave here. Okay. 
145, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. Um, but we can do some changes here. So first, okay, four. I don't, one pyre damage, we just let it ride. We let it ride. Um, we don't need to worry about this too much anymore, so we will, we'll just use it to consume. Okay, these will go up here. It's fine. Um, you should be played, absolutely. That's up to 360, not bad. We can fit one more. I might rather get attack. Maybe attack. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Then we will apply an extra damage shield. Okay. So we're doing, you know, a quarter of his health. Not amazing. But that's okay. Because he's not really our boss killer. Our boss killer is the top floor. And we get one extra turn here to make him pop. Which... I mean... We should probably keep this. So let's give you rage to consume it. Hold this over. Get a few more pops on our, our gorge triggers. And ladies and gentlemen, it comes down to this. Will he win? Yes. Get him out of here. Go back to school, bozo. We don't care about you here. If you guys are playing uh, the Umbra, do not sleep on this guy. Like, look at this. Look at his health. He's just, he's on, he's a wall. He has 21 stacks left, bro. It, it's broken. He's not the best against regular waves. Against bosses, he is unstoppable. Oh my goodness. Oops, did not mean to do that. All right. Hell yeah. I was getting a little nervous on those last few battles. I, a lot of enemies were slipping through, but yeah, we, it wasn't a problem. Deep down, I knew we were cool. All right, let's just quickly check what we unlocked. We got Covenant Rank 8. Bunch of gold cards. Umber levels up. They get... Making of a Morsel. So this is just a one cost. It gives you that uh, Crystal Morsel Miner guy. Hell yeah, that's right. The first time an enemy... First time each turn an enemy unit dies, add two Morsel units. Okay, sure. Free Morsels. Level up again. Did not mean to skip that. Cave-in. Descends everyone, though, from my memory. Uh, at start of turn, add a... Okay, you just get a free Morsel every turn. Love it. And then Hellhorn leveled up a little bit. Not too much, though. All right, well, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching again. I uh, really appreciate all the support lately. Look at all these gold cards, baby, we're getting there. Uh, and with that, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.